Okay, now this is my WordPress dashboard. I can visit my site, go to blog right there. This is my actual blog right here. This is a default theme. It has all this stuff already set up. So this is sort of the structure of my blog dashboard. All right, and we're gonna go to posts. Uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna go to appearance themes. We're gonna add a new theme. So we're gonna, let's see, add new theme right here. And search for a theme called, uh, what was that theme called? Hatch. Search for hatch. There it is. I'm going to say install. This installs the theme on your WordPress site. And we're going to activate that theme. All right, let's take a look at how it looks. All right, so now we have this new theme here. It's all set. Let's go back and customize it with our images. So this is in our WordPress. This is your WordPress dashboard. Go to Media, Library, we're gonna add our images. Now what I did, I'm gonna tab over here. Uh, I've already got these images set up. I've got my paintings, I've got a logo, and I've got just this sort of uh, image of me for my about page. So I'm just gonna select all of those images and drag them to my Media Library. Whoops. Add new, sorry, should have said the add new button. All right, now we're gonna drag that stuff to this area and it's uploading all of these files. Okay, now we're going to go and add all of these as posts right now that you don't see them because we have to add them as posts so we're going to create a post say add new and let's go down to featured image because the featured image is what shows up click media library and the first image here we'll set that all right and let's say that the name of that is fire canyon and we're going to publish Okay, we're gonna add new to add a new post. I'm not gonna view it. We're not gonna view that one we did yet. We just have to add all of these posts for them to show up in our gallery. And call this one Green Meadow. These are really inventive things here. All right, add a new one. Set featured image. We'll call this Pretty Green Field. So literally we're adding posts to our website. And you can see truly how just to create a post on your site is not that difficult. Um, we're setting an image, we're going to, we're tiling it. And of course, down in this area, I'm trying to talk to you as I'm doing this to save time. Uh, in that content area, that's where you can write additional information about your work, uh, about your, you could title your work, you could tell the, tell the viewer about it. You can say whatever you need to say about the format of it, all of that stuff. The more you say about your work, the more someone will respond to it. Set featured image. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna end, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six will get me a pretty good amount here to give you the idea. Green mist. Okay, so these posts are all published. And now let's view our blog. And now we see that all of those posts are on the home page of our site. And when we hover over them, 
the title pops up, click on it, and we have the title, we have, you know, the date it was posted, but we can add all this information, you, and there's your area where someone can uh, comment on that post. Now, instead of my blog, let's, let's upload a logo for that. Let's upload our, our logo there. So let's go to do that. You go to Appearance and Theme Settings. The same, Theme Settings is where that hatch theme we uploaded, that's where you upload specific things to that theme. So we've already uploaded that image, that logo image. So I'm just going to go to Media Library, select my logo, click Show, and keep that as default and say use this image. All right. Uh, let's see what else I can do here. Uh, author is just admin. You can change that by creating a new WordPress admin. We won't talk about that yet. Oh, and then here we're going to say... Um, we're going to say copyright. Right here we're going to type our name. My name is Mike Roy, so I'm going to put that. And we're going to say update settings. All right, and now visit site. All right, and now we have our logo here. It's kind of squished. And then we have, we have our name down there in the copyright. But let's say I want to get rid of this and just see my beautiful little thumbnails there. Um, let's go back to dashboard. And then in appearance, I'm going to go to customize. All right, and that's where we can, s let's just get rid of, blank out these things because those are things, that, then that goes away. Uh, header image, we're going to say, we're going to hide the header image. So that gets rid of that. And so that looks good. Okay, now the matter of my logo. Why is my logo doing what it's doing? Let's go to appearance. Oh, sorry, media library. Media library. My logo, I'm going to edit that. Uh, let's go to Appearance, Themes. Customize. Theme settings. Okay, I see what the deal is here. Um, it's a little too wide. This theme is a little bit limiting. This is just for the purposes of kind of showing you. Uh, let's see, we'll say full size. That was the problem, use this image. And update settings. And visit site. And there we go, That I had to tell it to use the full image. So there we go, that's, uh, that's our basic layout. And let's say we wanna add just a little about page. How do you add new pages? Well, let's go back to our dashboard here. Go to pages, add new. We haven't added a new page yet, we've just added posts. But if you want a whole new page, this is what you do. So you go to about, and let's add media to add our little picture of ourselves. We're just gonna insert that right into the page here. And this is a little word processing area. You can basically put images in there. You can put type, a picture of the art, the artist. He sees pixels. And of course you would, you would add a lot more information to let someone know all about you and why they would want to purchase your work and follow your art. And now when we visit our site, where's our page? Well, you need navigation. So that's what we'll show, I'll show you next. 
I'll show you how to set up a navigation menu. It's really easy. You just go down here to Appearance, Menus. And by default, it looks like all of our stuff's already set. We don't need this sample page, so we're going to remove it. And we'll just go ahead and say Create Menu. And Save Menu. All right, now let's go back and look at our site. Why is our menu not showing up? Let's look. Appearance menus. Home about. Oh, theme locations primary. Check that. Now save the menu. Now let's visit our site. Ah, there we go. So now we have our home and our about page. Click our about link and there's our about page. And there's my comprehensive bio about myself there. And just to show you how this uh, feedback system works here, you know, someone can, can post a comment. They have to be logged in. These are all your WordPress settings here, how it treats the comments. Uh, you can approve these comments before they go live, um, depending on the setting. So there you have it, a basic uh, WordPress gallery website with a free theme with the free WordPress software all installed on your host. All you have to do now is, is update it. And if you stay tuned to the next video, I can talk to you a little bit about where to go from here. You know, what kind of things would you add to this? So stay tuned for that. And for now, though, enjoy getting your artist website up and running.